In today's video, we will see what is hydrolysis. This word hydrolysis is made from two terms. The first is hydro means water and lysis is cleavage. When the bond gets broken up because of water, we call that as hydrolysis. Very important, we will be studying hydrolysis of some type of the salts. Before going into the concept of hydrolysis, what is hydrolysis you must know. For that, let us consider a salt. Here, what we are using in this chapter, an acid is denoted by HA. A base is denoted by BOH. If you see this, H, if it is given out, I will call this as an acid. Here, if I see this is OH, it will be given out, it will act as a base. So, what I will use for a salt is BA. Now, let us consider this particular salt as BA as a common example and dissolve this in water. Now, what will happen student, when I take this salt BA, this is a salt. What will happen, it will give me a cation and an anion. This is the cation and say this is the anion. Now, when I am dissolving this in water, now what water will give me is H plus and OH minus ion. Now, H plus, I will write on this side because this will get attracted here. And OH minus, I will write here. Now, what actually is happening when I am adding a salt, salt is getting splitted in the cation and the anion form. And water is giving its OH minus ion and H plus ion. When this A minus combines with this H plus, it gives you HA. What is that HA students? This is acid. And if this combines together, it gives you BOH that is a base. Now, on this particular chart, I can define now what is hydrolysis. Before writing the definition, let us see what is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is a process in which the cation and the anion of the salt combines with the hydroxyl and the H plus ion of water. Now, what it is giving to give acidity or alkinity or even sometimes neutrality to the solution. What I mean by acidity, alkinity and neutrality out of the two which are formed, if this is strong, then it will give acidity to the solution. Out of two, if this is strong, it will give alkinity to the solution. And if both are of nearly equal strength, then the solution will be called as neutral. So, let us write the definition. Before writing the definition, it is very very important that if you write cation and anion, then your terms must be hydroxyl and H plus ion. If you write anion first, the NOB plus, um, that is cation afterwards, then it should be H plus and OH minus. So, let us see what is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is a process in which the cation and the anion of the salt combines with what I have written first is cation so I will write hydroxyl first with hydroxyl and H plus ions of water to give acidity or alkalinity or even sometimes neutrality to the solution. This is what is hydrolysis. Now let us see what is hydrolysis constant. Now let us see the relation. So let us consider one mole of a salt Ba dissolved in water. What will be the reaction now? Ba plus water will give me. Whenever you go for hydrolysis reaction, always use a reversibility sign because when we use the forward reaction, this is hydrolysis student. But when you write the reverse one, this is neutralization reaction. That is acid and a base reacts to give salt and water. I will write below this salt. 
So salt plus water, what I will get is BOH plus HA. What is BOH? Is a base. And what is HA? Is a acid. So I got this equation. Now applying law of mass action. <coughs> K is equal to active mass of the base that is BOH. Active mass of HA upon active mass of BA and that of water. Always remember when you carry out hydrolysis this concentration is always in excess. And any concentration which is in excess always remains constant. So K is equal to BOH HA upon BA constant. What I can do is I can take this constant to this side. So what I will get is this constant I am taking on this side. So it will be K into constant is equal to this will be your equation. This is a constant. This is also a constant. So constant into constant will give me a new constant. Like we have used for acidity constant Ka, basicity constant Kb, ionic product of water Kw. Now this is hydrolysis. So which constant I will use here is Kh is equal to BOH upon H, sorry, into HA upon BA. This is the derivation which gives the relation between the hydrolysis constant and the concentrations. Now instead writing this BOH, HA and BA, I can write KH is equal to, what is this BOH? Is a base. So concentration of base, concentration of acid to concentration of salt. So this is the relation. Now what is actual definition for hydrolysis constant? It is a constant which is, which is you can say obtained by applying law of mass action. To what? To the hydrolysis reaction of one mole of a salt. So let us write the definition for this hydrolysis constant. The hydrolysis constant can be defined as now we are not recalling the definition. We are creating the definition on the basis of the formula. How we obtain this. So hydrolysis constant can be defined as. How you can define this? It is a constant obtained by applying law of mass action to the hydrolysis reaction. Of one mole of a salt. So this is about the hydrolysis constant. Thank you students.